EOD Airmen. I want to thank you for taking the time today to prioritize one of the most sacred principles, safety. It is, above all, the most crucial piece to any campaign, and it must serve as the cornerstone for every phase of our global operations from inception through recovery. Today, I humbly ask my elite and professional EOD airmen to take an honest look in the mirror and see how we are operating at this very moment. From both the tactical level and how we safely conduct explosive operations to the organizational level with how we are taking care of our airmen. I fully trust that our team is not only capable, but ready and willing to compete in any arena our nation could possibly ask of us. However, as we enter the era of great power competition and the undeniable uncertainties we will be asking our engineers to navigate, we not only need to be the most capable fighting force on the planet, but also the most resilient. So today, as you look inward, I ask that you take the time to ensure our airmen are as knowledgeable and competent of the TTPs that will not only accomplish the mission, but bring our airmen home safely to the nation we have also willingly signed up to protect and to serve. Additionally, along with taking the time today to reflect on our current performance, I ask that we all take the time together to remember the exemplary EOD airmen who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to our country. In remembering our close friends and most trusted companions, we not only honor them, but we offer our most sincere and genuine reflections of their exceptional effort, undying patriotism, and selfless love. If we can take the time today to remember and reflect on the circumstances and landscapes our courageous men and women so bravely traversed, we will find ourselves memorializing them in the most supreme and righteous way, as their memory will forever serve as the tactical guide and moral compass to lead our next generation through the challenges of tomorrow. Along with the spirit and the intent of the day, I simply want to thank you for taking the time and having the courage to look in the mirror. I am proud of this community's character to own our current level of performance and to understand our weaknesses, and then to immediately proceed intentionally and deliberately toward an improved process that will make every airman better, the career field safer, and a more effective force overall. Most importantly, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for taking the time today to remember our airmen who have served so valiantly over the years. In closing, I simply ask that you continue to do what you do best. Take care of yourself and take care of one another. Our EOD community is the professional organization within our Air Force enterprise worthy of imitation. I ask that you continue to perform at the high level you have proven yourselves to perform while never changing the way you develop, care for, and love one another. Your warrior spirit is the backbone of the resilient force we will most surely depend on in the years ahead, so stay the course. So thank you for your time today. I know that you will make the most of it, and thank you for honoring our fallen warriors. And as always, continue to prepare as fiercely and intensely as you possibly can for tomorrow. In doing so, you will set the example for us all to follow, so keep leading the way.